Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Kailasa Temple The Kailasa Temple is the world's largest monolithic structure, carved from a single rock in India around 750 AD. But these ancient engineers didn't build it from the bottom up like normal structures. They started from the top and worked their way down, removing about 400,000 tons of rock. That's equivalent to 100,000 elephants worth of rock completely carved away. These ancient builders had to plan everything perfectly from the start, because one wrong chisel strike would ruin the entire structure. They completed this massive project in just 18 years. Modern estimates suggest it would take centuries to do this today. The temple is perfectly symmetrical, meaning these craftsmen performed advanced geometry while suspended from cliffs, and they did all this without a single blueprint or computer model. The structure has survived earthquakes, invasions, and even deliberate destruction attempts. People tried to demolish it for three years straight and barely made a dent. Number 9. The Baalbek Trilithon Imagine three stone blocks, each weighing more than a fully loaded Boeing 747. These aren't just big rocks. They're precisely cut blocks weighing over 800 tons each. That's heavier than four adult blue whales stacked on top of each other. Our very largest mobile cranes would be pushed to their absolute limit to lift just one of these stones. These ancient builders didn't just lift them. They moved them nearly one kilometer from the quarry. Then they stacked them perfectly, with gaps between them so tight you can't slip a credit card in. We found their copper chisels, basically glorified butter knives compared to our modern tools. These massive stones aren't even the main attraction. They're just the foundation stones for a temple complex placed on top. Some archaeologists suggest they used ramps and rollers to move these stones, but the stones are so heavy that they'd crush most rollers, and the ramps would have to be so large that building them would be an even bigger project than moving the stones. Number 8. Saksaywaman. These stones are bigger than your car. Some of them weigh as much as 200 tons. That's like trying to move 33 full-grown elephants. These massive rocks fit together so perfectly, the seams are so fine a piece of paper won't fit. It's like someone took giant stones and melted them together like pieces of chocolate. We can build skyscrapers that touch the clouds. We can construct bridges that span entire oceans. But we can't easily replicate the way ancient builders fit these stones together with basic tools. These stones are just sitting there, holding themselves together with nothing but gravity and incredibly precise cuts. Each stone is cut with up to 12 different angles all fitting perfectly with the stones around them. It's like the world's heaviest 3D puzzle, where each piece weighs more than a house. The walls are so well built that when an earthquake hits, the stones actually dance. They bounce slightly in place and then settle right back into their original position. Number 7. The Underground City That Shouldn't Exist Daring Kuyu is an ancient underground city carved out of solid rock over 2,000 years ago. It goes down 18 stories into the earth deeper than a 15-story building is tall. Modern engineers still can't figure out exactly how it was built. Even with our advanced technology today, we'd struggle to build something like this. They carved out enough space to hide 20,000 people underground. Inside, they built schools, stores, livestock pens, wine cellars, and churches, all of it connected by a maze of tunnels and ventilated by a system so clever it still works perfectly after thousands of years. The security system is even more impressive. Each level could be sealed off by 1,000-pound stone wheel doors that could only be moved from the inside. One person could seal off an entire section of the city. An invader breaking into the first level would find their targets vanish deeper into the earth, trapped in dark tunnels behind massive stone doors. Number 6. Pumapunku Pumapunku's stones feature perfectly drilled holes and cuts through solid rock with mind-blowing precision. These features aren't just roughly made. They include perfect right angles, interior corners, and smooth as glass surfaces. The stones at Pumapunku are made of andesite and diorite, rock so hard they rank 7 out of 10 on the hardness scale. For reference, your kitchen knife is about a 5.5. Trying to cut or drill through this rock with simple bronze tools is like trying to cut through steel with a butter knife. Some holes are part of an elaborate interlocking system and are drilled so close to the edge that modern tools would risk cracking the rock. Yet somehow, these ancient builders did it without breaking the blocks. No tools have been found at the site that could explain how they accomplished this. Whoever built this place either had technology we can't explain, or they knew something about working stone that we've completely forgotten. Number 5. Roman Concrete Roman concrete has been standing strong for 2,000 years and counting, while modern concrete crumbles after just 50 years. And in seawater, Roman concrete actually gets stronger over time. Scientists recently discovered that Roman concrete has tiny pockets of quicklime, 
When water seeps in through cracks, these pockets activate like tiny repair kits. They heal the concrete from the inside. The Romans were making this stuff with volcanic ash and lime, and it worked better than many of our high-tech solutions. The Pantheon in Rome still stands after 2,000 years. Its dome remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, built without computers, without steel reinforcement, long before power tools existed. Even after using electron microscopes and advanced chemical analysis, modern scientists are still working to perfectly recreate the durability of Roman concrete. Number 4. The Longyu Grotos In 1992, a Chinese villager decided to drain a pond and found a massive hand-carved cave that went deep underground. The walls were perfectly carved, with tool marks so precise they looked like they were made by a machine. And this wasn't just one cave. There were 24 of them. Each cave is about the size of a cathedral, with pillars left to hold up the ceiling. These pillars were carefully calculated to hold the exact weight needed, and are still standing after 2,000 years. Not a single historical record mentions their construction. It's like an entire civilization just forgot about carving out an underground city. Every single wall in every single cave has these strange parallel lines carved into them. They're perfectly straight and perfectly spaced, covering every surface. These people were working underground, in the dark, with basic tools, yet they managed to maintain this perfect pattern across massive walls 24 times. When they mapped out all 24 caves, they discovered that the pillars in each cave line up perfectly with the pillars in the caves next to them. That means whoever built these had a master plan for the whole underground complex. Number 3. The Serapium Boxes Deep underground in Egypt, there's a network of tunnels filled with massive granite boxes. They're carved with the kind of precision that would make modern engineers jealous. The tunnels leading to where these boxes are placed are barely wider than the boxes themselves. It's like trying to parallel park a tank in your garage if your garage was underground and you had no heavy machinery. These boxes were supposedly made thousands of years ago with copper chisels and stone tools. The lids alone weigh 25 tons each, and they were placed perfectly in tight underground spaces. The precision is so incredible that some boxes still create a near-perfect seal after thousands of years. Modern equipment tests show these surfaces are flat to within a few thousandths of an inch. Today, creating surfaces this flat in granite requires expensive machinery and controlled environments. These ancient builders did it underground, and we still can't figure out exactly how. Number 2. The Hypogeum of Hal Safliani. This underground complex was carved out of solid limestone over 5,000 years ago, and it's not just a bunch of random caves. The ancient builders created something that modern science is still trying to figure out. When you speak or chant at certain spots in the hypogeum, the sound doesn't just echo, it transforms. Your voice can fill the entire structure, becoming deeper and more powerful. Scientists have found that the main chamber resonates at exactly 110 hertz. That's a frequency that can actually change how your brain works. When people are exposed to it, the part of their brain that handles language goes quiet, while the part that processes emotions and creativity lights up. These ancient builders created a place that could literally alter human consciousness. Our ancestors, without any modern tools or sound equipment, built an underground structure that could change your state of mind. Every single chamber, every curve, had to be perfect for this to work. One wrong angle, and the whole acoustic effect would fall apart. Number 1. The Ultimate Mystery The Great Pyramid of Giza Its scale is almost incomprehensible. 2.3 million stone blocks weighing up to 80 tons each, for a total mass of 6 million tons, but its size is only half the story. The pyramid is aligned to true north with an accuracy of within 1 15th of a single degree. Its outer casing stones were polished to a mirror-like finish and fitted together with joints just 1 50th of an inch thick. Theories about its construction abound, most involving massive ramps. However, modern analysis suggests that a ramp long enough to build the pyramid would have been an even larger engineering project than the pyramid itself. The sheer logistics, precision, and astronomical manpower required have led many to conclude that the full story of how they pulled it off remains a mystery. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.